Hey, Stephen Yonder here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with another High Octane walk around with a 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 XL convertible. Now, 1964 was a big year for Ford. They had the Falcon, the Fairlane, the new Mustang halfway through the year, and of course, the full-size Forge, which still sold larger numbers than these smaller vehicles, generally speaking. And speaking of big, this is the full-sized platform right here, body-on-frame construction, and as a convertible, a pretty rare bird. And again, the 500 XL was the top of the line for a full-sized Ford Galaxy. The XL included bucket seat interior, which was a big deal, uh, similar to Chevrolet's Super Sport motif on their full-size cars. We've got bucket seats. And before 1960, bucket seats in any American car was such a rare and exotic thing that it either meant you had a Thunderbird or a Corvette. But by 1964, bucket seats meant sport. And we have them inside this one here. And the thing I love about these full-size Fords like this, they were also really big on the NASCAR Super Speedway circuit. Uh, guys like Freddie Lorenzen set records in full-size Fords. In fact, Ford's logo was Super Torque Line, big torque. And this one has an additional amount of torque under the hood. Let's take a peek. That is a Ford dual overhead cam, the 4.6 modular engine family. And it has a Kennebel supercharger on top. We're looking at 525 horsepower here, nearly twice what a 390 would deliver. So super torque was the big deal in 1964. This is ultra torque, if you ask me. And you gotta remember too, the Ford dual overhead cam, 4.6 and 5.4 and 5.8 family is not to be confused with the two valve. These have four valve heads and are very happy spinning to almost 7,000 RPMs. And again, with that supercharger in there, we're looking at 525 horsepower and probably about 500 foot-pounds of torque at 5,000 RPMs. This is one big full-size Ford that will have the performance feel of a Ford GT with that overhead valve, overhead cam engine under the hood. Let's take a peek inside. Inside this beautiful full-size Ford, being that it's a Galaxy 500 XL, the front bucket seats, again, are standard equipment. Also seen in Mustang, but uh, again, bucket seats in a big car was just really exotic. The Pontiac 2 Plus 2, Buick Wildcat, the Chevrolet Supersport Impalas, and yeah, Galaxy 500 XL also depart from lesser cars because of their front bucket seats. This one here, the center console, has something very cool. Not available in 65, even better, a five-speed manual. This is a Tremec TKO, and this is a five-speed manual transmission. Of course, back in 64, four-speed was the rule, but this fifth gear here is an overdrive, which will allow this 525 horsepower, 4.6 liter, four-valve, four-cam Ford to propel this thing to 130, 140 miles an hour. Closed course, please. But with that said, it's got plenty of power to move the bulk of this car but the design of this car is purely American. Look at the back seat, big bench seat, but has the motif of a centrally mounted speaker, the XL logo right here. Again, XL means top of the line galaxy. And I love the chrome treatment up here, kind of like a Thunderbird sports roadster. And again, Ford did a lot of uh, design sharing, if you will. The best traits of certain cars would be filtered through the rest of the line. And the Thunderbird lines were very much in force throughout the full-size Galaxy as well. This one has power windows, and this is basically an excellent cruiser. You know, most people build their Ford hot rods on Mustangs or, or Fairlanes. It's rare to see one based on a full-size car. And speaking of full-size, we've got to look inside that trunk. Built in 1964, this Ford was constructed years before the advent of hatchbacks or minivans. So these have true family-sized trunks. Look at the size of this deck lid. I can barely reach across it. That is a full-sized trunk. Let's have a peek inside and see how much room there is in there. Just classic American full-sized automobile architecture right here. Yeah, huge trunk. Just the thing for the drive-in movie. You could probably get 10 of your buddies back here. Okay, maybe five. But with that said, a lot of trunk volume. Now, this one has been upgraded with uh, aftermarket carpeting. It looks good. The vertical panels have been redone. Massive subwoofer speakers. A nice little uh, stitched cover for the spare tire. But just a nice presentation inside the trunk. But look at the size of that. Amazing stuff. And again, this is a full-size Ford, not to be confused with the mid-sized Fairlane or the compact Falcon or, of course, the Mustang, although just about as sporty as any Mustang ever was, thanks to the 18-inch wheels. And good to see disc brakes at the back, which are an upgrade. There were no disc brakes in Fordland until late in 65, but four-wheel disc brakes on this one. 
Leaf Springs in the back, and again, 64 final year for Leaf Springs, and 65 for went coil springs on the back of their full-size car. So Leaf Springs give you a better uh, handling situation than a coil spring generally will. But again, front disc brakes, once again, 18-inch wheels, and that little emblem on the front fender, that Cobra emblem, tells you there's a lot more going on under the hood than the 390 this was born with. This one is a 525 horsepower camera under the hood. It's a great car, big American fun. A lot of fun on the road.